Today we will be replacing the front blinker lights right in there and uh, they're 1156A for the 2008 Toyota 4Runner. They did say there was a different possible model and what it is is some of them plug in and some of them twist in. So you need to kind of make sure do you have the twist in. That would obviously be 1156A and there's another model I think it starts with a 3. But anyway, those are the ones that kind of plug in. So I have the twist in, so this is how you get to them. This one's pretty easy. That one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. The key is there's a bunch of stuff behind here. There are some low beams, high beams. This side's pretty easy. You got another uh, runner light right here. But you want this top one, and it kind of just spins out. It's just righty tidy, lefty loosey. See, that's all there is to it, right? Hmm. All right. Just gotta wiggle it a little, little, and most of the time, with your lights, you don't want to touch them. The way I knew that this was out is it blinks fast. If it blinks fast. One of your lights is out, so you just need to go around and check them all. Um, they say not to check your, not to touch, do not touch, do not do this without a paper towel because they say you put uh, grease, your hand grease, the oils from your hand get on there, and that messes up the light bulb and takes away the life of it. But That's what they say. So if you believe what they say, you shouldn't do it. Now these lights, you want to make sure you get them back in and turn them tight because uh, that's where your moisture comes in at and you don't want any moisture in there. You got light number one, light number two, and Light number three, this is us back there. Light number three right there. And then you got another plug-in light down here and down here. So um, this is the blinker light right here. So if you're getting that flash blink, it's that one right there. Other side. Oh man. Uh, light number one, light number two, and somewhere back there is light number three don't think I'm gonna be able to get to it without uh, taking off the battery but oh maybe <laughs> well I have pretty good sized hands so you just gotta kind of not be scared to put your hand in there I guess it's def definitely not easy definitely not easy so um, <laughs> but as you can see we did get it out it's definitely not easy probably be a lot easier to take out the battery maybe I guess all depends if you want to go through all that to move your battery out of the way problem is not only do you you kind of need a strong hand to to unspin it so you may not be able to get your wife to help you but you know if she's good at that kind of stuff she might be able to help you she probably has smaller hands all right now we just got to see if we can get it back in there blind right use the force Luke Oh, I got it. I just can't spin it. You really got to manipulate yourself to get in there because you can't can't get your thumb and your finger in there and that's what really messes you up. So you, you like you like trying to turn them with these two fingers instead of trying to get there. You can see um, like I said, you're going to you got to put yourself to the test if you want to 
not take out your battery. <laughs> but we're in. We're in. I'm just trying to make sure it's really... I really want to uh, make sure I spun it in all the way, because... You don't want to get moisture in these lights. That's the that's, uh, number one thing. So we're good to go. Feel pretty tight. That's how easy it is. 1156A, if you got these, you may want to look at your owner's manual. But this is a 2008 Sport Edition. It's a 2008 Sport Edition 4Runner. Change your front blinker lights. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we appreciate it.